Question one. Tell us about a time when you were part of a team or led a team and there was a difference of opinion. What happened and what did you do to ensure a successful outcome? In my last position as floor manager at JD Sports in Oxford Street, I was part of a team managing the tills department during Christmas period, which in retail is one of, if not the most important time in sales. I was one of two senior management who structured the floor plan for Boxing Day, the busiest time of the year. It was imperative we had the strongest staff on the tills serving customers. However, my colleague disagreed and had suggested that we use staff members of her choice, knowing that they weren't as particularly strong. It came to my attention that the staff had chosen was based on their friendship, just to know those not serving the tills had the painful task of doing tedious jobs such as maintaining the shop floor and tying up the hangers. So I completely understood why she didn't want her friends doing such jobs. However, I had to pull it I had to pull my colleague to the side for a chat and explain that I was aware this was her first Christmas period in a mega store as she had only just been transferred from a smaller store. I'd also told her I'd experience in leading boxing days and busy periods in other mega stores and know what was needed for the day to run smoothly given the day itself is very, very hectic and demanding. I'd convinced her that my strategy and floor plan is more effective than the one she she suggested, although we didn't see eye to eye on this matter, we came to consensus to use the floor plan I had created with staff I had chosen. During the day, during the day, our store was turning over the most revenue per hour amongst other branches in the company due to how quick and efficiently we were serving customers at the till. At the end of the day, when we were both cashing up, my colleague and I, she told me she understood why I did what I did, and she could, and she appreciated she she appreciated it as she learned a valuable experience from it. Something that she could use later in the future. Question two. Question two. What interests you about working for a company of your choice? Include what motivates and interests you about working within this industry. So, I would like to work for Adam and Eve DBB, a leading communications company made up of people from advertising, design, digital, technical, social media and direct. Dubbed as the UK's most ad admired creative agency, their creative sector is one that I have always been highly interested in. One of my greatest strengths are working or leading in a group. Given that they rely on multifunctional teams with very particular skills and personality types, I believe I could flourish and gain valuable experience as well as presenting fresh creative ideas. I am motivated by working with other people. I find that during university and generally working in a team, my best ideas come when working in a group. I would bounce well off, well off each other as, as I enjoy relationship building and being part of a group. So this will be my answer to what motivates me. And Give an example of a time when you had to deal with conflict. How did you handle it? I deal with conflict with another person by using effective communication. During my last position as floor manager at JD, I worked alongside another manager who wasn't pulling their weight. As they, as they were used to working closing shifts, they were responsible for the close down of the department, which included replenishing stock and maintaining the standards for the next day. However, they were constantly failing to do so and left the opening manager, who was often me, with more work to do. This created conflict within the department amongst managers. As the senior manager, I decided to pull the individual for a chat in private as I didn't want them to feel like defence. I kindly let them know that they were not completing what is required for them and it was affecting others in the team. It appeared that this supervisor was having personal problems at home. After understanding and talking about a situation, she appreciated my perspective and I appreciate her situation. She thanked me for taking the initiative to, to, let, an, uh, to let an event about a situation. The short conversation developed a trust factor we both understood each other's perspective and then she started to improve her standard.